welcome back to the channel. If you're wondering why all of my cupboard doors are open behind me, it's because I was in the middle of doing before and after shots. And I was like, I haven't introed the video yet. Lo and behold, today is the one that we have probably all been waiting for for a long time, the kitchen makeover. Reorganization as such, we're not doing a makeover today, it's just reorganization. We have a lot of pain points with this kitchen and I just wanna make stuff organized, work for us structurally and practically. If you haven't already, go back and watch the haul that I did. So you'll see a lot of the products that I'm gonna use in place in case you wanna know more stuff about them, where I got them from, etc. If you're new here, hello, hi, um, I'm Sade and I do all things homeware. We've just moved into a house three months ago that needs some renovation and some TLC. So that is what I'm on a mission to do. Immediately you see a pain point the bin area this needs to be closer to the cooking space it's making me feel like we're not using space to the best of its ability this is the cupboard where these should actually be drawers so hopefully we're going to fix that today this cupboard as well it's just not being used properly it's got lots of baking trays baking sheets chopping boards they're all lying flat down and it's just not an optimal use of the space this is one of our food cupboards we only actually have two food cupboards two and a half we've got this one this one and then a little bit of one behind me that you'll see. I really wanna make this cupboard not be as cluttered and you know, a lot easier for us to reach for food and know what's in there because a lot of the time, everything's just like pushed, packed into the back. So I never know what we've got. Look, I didn't even realize that we had noodles. Similarly with this one, we just ended up putting all of the condiments, tins, seasonings and spices in here. It's a bit of an eyesore. Again, we don't know half the stuff that we've got in there. I wanna be able to see everything a little bit more clearly. This would be better used if it had one of those turny drawers that you can pull out so you can see the whole thing inside. It didn't come with that, unfortunately, and I don't necessarily wanna spend the money to get one of those is just a waste of space to be honest containers at the bottom which are just sitting there for no good reason and then we have got our cutlery so this is where we keep our cutlery at the moment if you are wondering i know that was a big hoo-ha when we first moved in because we were like wait we've got no drawers have we got no really drawers in our kitchen surely we do nah. do we actually not have drawers what can i say like don't have drawers in the kitchen oh my god do we not have drawers now so yeah that's where we keep our cutlery at the moment again it's just not very practical we have gone out and bought some of the soto drawer boxes from b q good home and we're hoping that these are going to fit they're going to be the right size for our drawer cupboard and if i bring you into the utility room you will see that we have managed to track down the drawer fronts yeah interesting isn't it they made a door from it really cute aesthetic video like oh my god everything just fixed perfectly oh i'm so organized queen i'm getting stressed because i know it's not going to look organized in the end i've done one thing one thing in about 40 minutes let me show you this is said thing i mean it looks cute <laughs> i don't know if it's any better or any worse than before okay no it is better because the chopping board laid horizontally was the same width as it is now but all that now they're all standing up so i don't have to like you know, scramble, trying to like pull out and stuff. This is super simple. I love the idea of these. I really, really love the idea, but you need to be able to pull these pegs out. Or actually I could just get a little coping saw, but just like saw, saw the, like every other peg so that I can get thicker dishes in there. Cause I've got so many baking trays. <laughs> I didn't order that much, that much organization stuff from Ikea as I thought. I'm having a little rethink and I think we're gonna be buying some stuff from Amazon. I'm trying to look for pot and pan organizers. I'm thinking something along the lines of this so that we can stack the pots. And that can live here. I'm thinking to get something like this rack for the pans. You can move all of the dividers at uh, sizes that you need it to be. So I'll be able to have the pans stacked here, but the pots laid out down here. We're gonna have to order some stuff from Amazon to get this going and we'll continue 
do it tomorrow. I've got a lot of, you know, like the miscellaneous stuff that you have in your kitchen. Measuring jugs, sieves, more sieves, things to display our fries in a fun way when we have dinner sometimes. Measuring cups, apparently more sieves. It's the sort of stuff that ends up either in a drawer or in a cupboard just randomly thrown in there and it doesn't have a place. I want these to have a place. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna order some hooks from Amazon, you know, the 3M ones that you just stick on and then I'm gonna be able to hook all of these things onto the insides of the cupboards. So I've got this smart store container. I got these from Homebase a couple of years ago. You know those sorts of appliances that are just too small to take up a convenient amount of room in the cupboard? Um, I might just try and bung all of them in here. So I'll give this a quick rinse and um, see what we can fit inside it. probably been doing this for maybe about five hours now. I am happy with the progress so far. I've just basically washed out all of the glassware containers that I bought so that they're clean and they're all drying away in the cupboards with the lids off so that tomorrow I can decant stuff and put them away nicely. I'm also going to go down and sit down now and order some stuff from Amazon to be delivered tomorrow. I think as well we need to change the drawers that we bought. We need to buy an extra big one because looking at the drawer doors over there there are two large ones at the bottom and one thin one at the top and we've got four thin ones and only one large one. Well, that's not a problem and I'm hoping maybe tonight when Rob comes home we can unbox one of them kind of like loosely put one together and see if it's gonna work in the cupboard five hours later I couldn't help myself I'm trying to do these drawers now for about two hours I think that I have maybe finally got them kind of it has been a whole palaver though I want to show you how it looks when we get the drawer on it's a bit fiddly but we get there I find this part really difficult, like getting the drawer to sit inside. Oh, did I just do it the first time? Mm. Oh, <laughs> oh, okay, now I think it's in. Wait, okay, out, and it doesn't lift off, and then. If you need me to fit a whole kitchen, let me know, because I can do it. Okay, I need to call Rob before he comes home because he's out at football right now and I need him to buy another big drawer so that we can get this all done by the morning. Ah, so excited! It's the next day. My thighs, oh my God. It feels like I went to the gym and had the hardest PT session ever. Like right here, like all of this absolutely kills. My quads, I don't know. Anyway, new day. As you can see, installed the drawer. It works really well soft clothes and all. I've already pre-drilled the holes for the bottom one. I don't think this will work like verbatim for you at home because you'll have different units from different places and all that sort of stuff but you know the thought process might be around the same and you can work it out yourself. I've just taken the middle drawer out to show you how to do it like beginning to end and a dedication. <laughs> When they use this as a door, they chomped a huge chunk out to attach the door hinges and that's exactly where we need to screw this in. It's gonna take me so much longer to fill this hole, but it would be cheaper than buying a new drawer front and I don't know where these drawer fronts are from. Oh God, why, why, why? I've cut a very bad, <laughs> A very very bad circular piece of wood which I'm hoping will fit in here and it does. I'm gonna wood glue this in place and then I'm gonna let it sit. I'm gonna clamp it in, let it sit and then I can go in and drill into this if need to be. I'm gonna also fill this hole though because I don't want to get to a point where we need to drill inside the hole. I want 
clean up this situation with the bin. That bin, I hate it, I hate it so much. It's, it always looks dirty. I don't know why I clean it. I've taken it outside and cleaned it. It's not functional for our kitchen in particular because we recycle stuff. So I want to have a section for recycling and a sexual section for general stuff. Out of the old. In with the new. This is one of those ones that it like separates recycling and the general and it's from next. They have got so many bins on the website. This one caught my eye and it's a beautiful colour as well. So I think I'm crossing my fingers that like it's gonna match the cabinetry quite well, like complement it. Just try and get this out one piece. Oh, look at that bad boy. That's gorgeous. And it's a soft close, beautiful. Just in case you're wondering, I will leave this link in the description box for you, but this is their premium quality 40 litre recycling bin. Right, let's put our first piece of recycling in the bin. Ah! Deliveries are here. This bad boy, pot organizer, but you can have it stood this way or you can have it stood up in the cupboard as well. Bought some three end tabs for the corners of the cupboards because when you close them, it's really loud. Ooh, got some of these. You would use two of them to hold one pot lid. You'd use them up this way to like hook things onto. I think these are gonna be perfect, fingers crossed. These are dish stackers. I bought a fire blanket because you can't be too safe. Some hooks, these are the command strip hooks and they just use that 3M te uh, tab technology again. So if I put this on one of the inside of the doors, we can hook that on. This is another plant organizer. I knew I picked up more than one. I think this one is adjustable, but you have to have it laid like on its side rather than upwards. And then the final thing, this kitchen roll holder, which you just shove and you can screw it at the back as well to hold it in place if you need to, but you can put your kitchen roll on there. It feels so spotless. It was quite the task, but I'm really, really happy with it. So I want to walk you through. I have changed this cupboard to house our plates and dishware. I also picked up these stackers from Amazon. One of the best things, honestly, I'm so happy with that. I would give that a 10 out of 10 and we've only been using it one day. I'm going to go back to home base and buy a couple more of these boxes. Well, they're smart store boxes, so I might see if, where I can find them online but these are fantastic because they're clear you can see exactly what they are which i'm finding having things that are clear that you can see what they are has made such a difference right going down under this is now pots and pans and we've got some more dishware and storage containers over here this pot and pan divider again fantastic i will leave all of these things linked down below for you also got our pan stacker just so easy this cupboard has just got all of rob's workout stuff and then at the bottom i have put the tassimo machine down there quite bulky and i like it out of the way we still have the utensils in this storage box that will change i just need to find the utensil holder that i like i didn't even look in this cupboard during this whole process I think this is going to be a task for another video and another day i know that this is a bit of an eyesore 
but my god this is already one of my favorite things that we've bought so this was from ikea and it's just a, a dish drainer it is too big, big for our sink i think i told you that our sink this is so small hence why i bought this so it does overlap to the back a bit but when you stack the dishes on here they dry within like five minutes such a small thing but yeah it just makes me happy <laughs> i'm that girl i feel like that girl anyway <laughs> all of these jars you saw in the last haul and when i went shopping these are all from asda love them they have got a rubber seal to keep everything you know airtight which is necessary but just so simplistic i love the different sizes that i've got and then we've got these ones they just come with a cork ball on the top they're so cute so this has got cocoa powder in it probably not the best use of these jars for things like this because this might end up drying out a bit faster because there's no rubber seal but we'll have to see and then i also have these shaped ones which i love and again i've just got the little spoons in there which are fantastic i picked this up from primark maybe last year or the year before i used to have it as a hot chocolate station but i just never used it enough so i've decided to turn it into my stock cube organizer instead we've got the red the green and then on top we've got our maggie cubes i think you must have seen this cupboard but this has got lots of our baking trays mixing bowls i also added some command hooks so i've got the oven glove hooked on there in this cupboard we've got tins spices and then stuff that we use to make our like chinese fakeaways and stuff like that i know this isn't the best way to store these spices you can't really see all the way to the back and it will end up getting a bit messy and cluttered so i'm really hoping to maybe do like a spice rack or a spice drawer we've got things that are too tall to live in the other cupboards in here so it's usually often like oils salt and pepper grinders and stuff like that the most exciting part of the whole kitchen installing these drawers they were a bloody headache to install i'm not gonna lie but i feel like they're so worth it as you can see we only have one handle they must have taken the other two handles with them they didn't put them on these drawers when they made them into a door so we only got one handle so this is how we open the drawers you can either go like this and come in from the bottom try not to trap your hand though because that does hurt or you can open this drawer you know put it open just like that but i think in the top drawer what i'm hoping to do is make that the spice rack so i think it'll work out in the end chopping boards more baking trays and then on the side we've just got like sieves and stuff which are hanging on command strips we've got all of our appliances basically cake mixers slow cookers rice cookers blenders nutribullets toasties just things that are just small and wouldn't really have a home otherwise i've managed to put them into these baskets at the bottom onto the final bit this is a pretty empty cupboard as well we have got just loads and loads of drinks basically and then we've got our plastic bags for when we go to the shops up to the last set of cupboards which is a firm fave this is our breakfast and snacks cupboard so we've got the ikea plastic 365 storage containers with oats muesli granola and you know like a fun cereal love these so so good just so easy to see like, what do i want for breakfast this morning Ooh, i'll have some lion bar cereal or something we do have overflow i don't have a pantry so if they don't fit in the containers they're going in the cupboard with the containers to get topped up so i have got oats remaining in here because rob bought a literal like 10 kg bag last year and never eats them and then we've got our rice container and then we've got our leftover rice from the 10 kg bag but I love this rice little container it's so cute so initially when i put this cupboard together we had the snacks baskets down here the shelves are already bowing i don't know if they need a little bit of extra support or something but i didn't want to put this on the top because it's super heavy and then on top we've got the snacks so we've got two mesh baskets that i bought from b&m last year and i still love them they actually do do these in ikea as well but i think they were slightly cheaper in b&m these are the george as the home baskets that we bought as well with the bamboo tops and these are perfect for um snacks sweets and snacks i feel really really sad talking about a bit and i'm not gonna lie but i have fallen in love with this we only opened it up and started using it since yesterday but it has made everything so much cleaner on this corner of the kitchen so we used to put all of our recycling up here because we didn't have another bin for it but now this has got two compartments so when you open it up the left hand side is the recycling and then the right hand side is the general waste and that's from next home as well what do you think i feel genuinely like i should have done this so much sooner 
everything feels so much more clean i feel so much more inspired to come in here and like have breakfast and cook i don't even mind like keeping on top of the cleaning and stuff because i know that everything's got a home it doesn't feel cluttered honestly this is one of the best things i think that we've done since moving into the house i feel like if we could get some long chunky oak style shelves but i just feel like we need to make use of this space a bit more and pump our character into the kitchen because as much as it's clean and tidy i don't feel like it's got character just yet do you know what i mean leave any suggestions down below i want to hear all of them the next project in the house what we're going to do we've just got our security system which i'm really happy about so that is a priority to get that all set up so we'll do that together i really hope that you enjoyed that video thank you so much for watching if you are not subscribed please subscribe please like the video you can do it on your tv whatever device that you're on means the world to me i will see you in the next one take care guys bye Mwah. now i'm gonna make some lunch in my new kitchen bye <laughs>